Hey guys, you got a um, generator that has this type of plug, an L530 uh, amp plug. You know, it's a three prong, 125 volt plug on your generator. Well, this is what my new generator supplies. And over here is my uh, transfer switch. And it only uh, uses um, 110. I have nothing running off of um, 220 but it has four prongs, which that's the L1430 amp uh, plug. That's the male portion. Again, I'm running all my circuits off of 110, so both sides, this bar and this bar, uh, that's the reason why they have two plugs here, because if you was gonna run 220, I could grab two sides and run both, both sides and make 220, you know, one, 120. 110 and 110 so 20 so anyway how do you make that little plug very simple you're gonna need a, a jumper plug you go to Home Depot Lowe's um, get yourself some uh, 10 gauge uh, wire some three three uh, strand wire this right here is um, uh, what is this it's uh, this 10 gauge uh, Flexible stranded wire I got from Home Depot picked it up for a few bucks You know you're gonna need your male uh, Plug that's gonna fit into the generator so that's your um, Your L5 30 amp plug get that at Home Depot And you're gonna need you know your uh, four prong plug that's gonna go into your transfer switch so still three wires so what you're doing is you know obviously you're gonna still hook up your your uh, let me flip it, flip it around here you're gonna put your green into ground and you're gonna put your white wire into uh, the, the where it says W white and the black wire which has the juice you can either use X or Y it doesn't matter which side you use you put the black wire on and then you need this jumper wire feeding X in this case into Y okay and what I've done is simply drilled a little hole to push this white jumper wire in to bring the power over to this side which is Y you see how on this side where it isn't used how the factory has a hole uh, where the white wire goes in and that's just fine but now I want it to grab onto, try to get this as steady as I can. Sorry about it. But, so what I did on the other side, showing this as an example, I drilled a hole right there and hooked on to the other side of this terminal. It, it's extremely easy to do. Get a little drill bit, size of your copper wire in there, drill through and make your jumper wire which you can see that's exactly what I did. It's pretty easy. And then obviously put it together. So then you got your, your three prong into your four prong. And what's happening is you still got your, your ground and your neutral side, but both sides are hot, feeding 110 on both sides. That way I didn't have to butcher up. I could have made this, you know, like into a pig, not this side, I could have, um, taken the, the factory nicey nice cable and just snipped it here and put this plug on and did the same thing too but I didn't want to like ruin this cable it's all nicey nice and you know just to keep it intact but it was just a cheap way of doing it and I wanted to share it with you guys and hope this helps somebody bye